Uh, Coach, how big is a really competitive game like this as you are about to start your ACC regular season and get your footing underneath you? Well, even though um, there's a big difference in playing your fifth game as opposed to playing your second game, and I think that was obvious tonight. I thought Indiana was was a little more in tune. I thought the execution was better. They hit their free throws. I mean, we're a really good free throw shooting team. But we shot 57%. You're not going to win very many games uh, against this level of competition without making, not shooting 57%. Our execution was not nearly as good. From our recognition of, of the opportunities on the offensive end was, was not very good. And defensively, obviously, we, uh, we had a hard time defending uh, Jackson. Uh, that wasn't because of effort, because of, of where we are in terms of development. development. Uh, but it, I think that playing a, caliber, a team of this caliber this early in the season obviously had our attention. Uh, we don't have the luxury now of, of, of taking anyone lightly. Uh, this was a, a, a probably a game that really, really is going to give us an opportunity to really evaluate ourselves and, and, and um, be exposed to some of our shortcomings or our inexperienced play at this point. And um, uh, this is uh, then the, even the next game as we prepare for Florida. They have a much more improved team than they were than they were last year. So then the next game is the conference play. So we we in a very very tough stretch. Uh, we we got a sink or swim, <laughs> and um, hopefully these these level of uh, this level of of, 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 of competition will, will, will elevate our focus and our concentration level. And hopefully that will be uh, enough for us to continue to keep getting better. Coach, I know there's things you have to work on, but I mean, that's your 10th straight win in overtime, 25 at home in a row now for you guys. How important is it for you to, to guard that home court and how much pride do you take in that? Well, there's no doubt that you, you try to build some level of, of legacy with your team. And obviously, it gives us a sense of pride. And hopefully, our fans, uh, would, uh, they've been great. They get involved with having a sense of pride that, that they're coming in and cheering us and helping us uh, win those games. But from, a, from a, a coaching standpoint, you know, when we look back maybe a few years and now we might can have a much level of appreciation than we do now. Right now it's all about um, us just being uh, focused to try to keep, continue to keep getting better. Can you talk a little bit about Scotty Barnes' performance tonight? I mean, he might have not scored as much, but he came in clutch when he needed to. And as a freshman, I'm sure there's always that level of pressure of when to step up. Can you talk a little bit about that clutch performance that he had at the end to help the team win? And just overall, what you've noticed in him uh, so far this season, even though you guys are only two games in? Well, it's too early to start trying to evaluate Scotty. I love his effort, his attitude, his enthusiasm. Uh, and he's still learning uh, how to adjust this level of competition and trying to learn how to uh, be effective utilizing the, the players we have on the team. Um, he's probably making the biggest transition, the biggest transition than any of the players because he played, he, he's never played point guard like this before. So he, that's a lot of responsibility uh, that uh, and it's a learning curve. So I'm pleased with his progress. Uh, he's he's going to continue to keep working. I'm, we expect him to, to continue to keep getting better. But right now, we are still a, a developing team, uh, and we, we don't have very much room for error. Uh, competition is fast and furious. It's coming out. It's, it's like a, an avalanche right now, and um, it, it gets even better. Uh, obviously, you expect a much improved Florida team coming in, in fact, to be honest with you, I think they're probably a little bit better than, than um, a little farther along than Indiana. And then obviously everyone saw the, the Georgia Tech victory over Kentucky the other day. So we got a nice a stretch here where we got we to gotta, we gotta stay focused, take one game at a time and, and uh, evaluate this game and prepare for the next game and just stay focused and let's see, can we continue to keep, get, continue to keep getting better and, and have us a fine season? At the end of overtime there, that's a moment where I would say over the last couple of years, it's probably a, a play that's going through Trent Forrest. I mean, obviously, no Trent now. It's kind of a matter of who steps up in that moment. What's it say about Scotty that 
two games into his career, he's a guy who puts himself in that moment and comes through with it. Well, but 8.4 8. seconds on the clock, we, we felt that uh, we, we didn't want to call timeout. We wanted to come on the run and, and give the ball to him and, and see can he create, go as far as he can, and then if he didn't have it, we wanted him to kick it. But uh, he went in with, with his height. He was able to get a nice bank shot and the ball went in. So it says a lot about his confidence and, and hopefully there'll be better days ahead. Give y'all a little glimpse of what we can expect for him for the, for the, uh, the rest of the year. You, you talk some about Jackson Davis, and I think you called him a man child earlier this week. And I would say he looked the part tonight, but how do you feel your, uh, your guys, your guys who kind of matched up against him, I'd say Raekwon and Balsa held their own, especially I would say at the offensive end. Well, I'm not real sure we held our own. The guy had 25 points and 17 rebounds. Now that's, that's a unbelievable night. Uh, I thought we could have done a better job of him, but he's a very, very good player. And sometimes when you play a player of that caliber, you know, you, um, you know, you try to hold everybody else down. I thought we did a pretty good job on some of the other players that, that are, uh, are very capable of, of, of having big nights. So I'm very pleased with the effort that our kids gave and we, we, we did just enough to come away with a victory. Any more questions for Coach? I just have one more. Um, with Florida coming up, what do you think your team is going to go back to the drawing board and really work on the most before that game? Because it, it will be a, a tough one for sure. There's so many different things we have to work on. Right now, we just got to learn how we need to play in relation to who we are. You know, who, you know, we had the, our systems, we were just a little slow on the decisions, a little slow on the execution, but that's understandable. You know, when we face this level of competition, that probably a little farther along of understanding who they are and how to take advantage of their talents. We still got to grow, just gain an experience. And we got so many areas where we need to improve them. We can't shoot 57% from the free throw. We led the ACC in free throw shooting last year, and we're probably a better free throw shooting team than we are than we are now. But part of the uh, of, of, of uh, the early season development is playing in competition, learning how to relax, uh, learning how to go to the line with confidence. I see these guys, we have weeks where we shoot 86, 87% as a team from the free throw line. So we're not a 57% free throw team. But that's what happens when you haven't played very many games and your emotions and your adrenaline is flowing. That's why it's, it's this game is very important for us to be able to win <clears throat> at this stage when we still are, are trying to figure out who we are. Leonard, how comforting is it to have – I know you don't want to play MJ 41 minutes in a game, but his senior leadership out there taking big shots, making big shots, giving you plays when you have to have them, he fit the role of a senior leader that you've had on your team here for the last few years. No doubt about that. But you know what I'm going to say is that we we got to have a full complement of all our players. We got to get uh, Raquan Evans uh, a little bit more involved. We got Sadar Calhoun got to be a little bit more involved. We need more. I'm pleased with with, with uh, Wyatt. He's had a great preseason. He didn't shoot the ball as well as I know he's capable of shooting. But Calhoun, I mean, but but Sadar. Um, uh, Nagam and Ballard, we need to get those guys giving us a little more. But this this was a game we had to go with our most experienced players, and I thought that they did a good job pulling the game out, helping us pull this game out. Any more questions for Coach? All right, we're going to bring MJ and Scotty in. It'll be a few 